There was so much hype and enthusiasm last week. Are we starting to see that dial back a little bit? Uh, we're, we're seeing maybe a little bit, Caroline. When I first logged on, uh, there was a lot of folks with a lot of curiosity, and maybe those were curiosity sign-ups saying, what's this all about? I asked, what's the vibe? Right now, the vibe seems to be in my thread, a lot of memes, not a lot of news, so a distinct difference from what I see on Twitter. But just in the last 24 hours, we've actually gotten some data from some data analytics firms like Sensor Tower and Similar Web, who are saying that maybe some of that initial curiosity excitement has fallen off. They're saying that traffic has fallen by about 20% from last week. That usage time is down to 8 to 10 minutes from 20 minutes last week. So that initial bump in curiosity is maybe not leading to uh, at least a month's worth of extended <laughs> engagement of what we're seeing on threads right now. Well, let's get a take of uh, someone who's helping advise all these creators. Lauren, is the enthusiasm there? Is it real? Are they wanting to take part in the conversation somewhere other than Twitter? I mean, I think absolutely. I think that the the time, first of all, nobody, when done right, nobody does a launch better than Zuck. I mean, it has been glorious, this launch, right? The seamlessness nature of it, the golden ticket. If you search threads in Instagram, a golden ticket comes up and then it takes you to the app to download. Everybody I'm talking to and everything I'm seeing is saying, like, the, it really is living up to this promise of a more friendly sort of environment, which is what Zuck and Missouri are sort of trying to promise. Now, whether or not they can maintain that, there's so many. We, we've seen that it, Facebook Meta knows how to grow platforms. Do they know how to manage them? Eh. I don't really know. But right now, not really seeing a lot of drop off sort of anecdotally. Um, I think it's totally to be expected that you get that initial curiosity and a little bit of like a downturn right after. But like even the numbers Alex just mentioned don't seem, in my opinion, to indicate that this is going anywhere, going away anytime soon. And Lauren, I am curious, as you're talking to creators, um, obviously mm -hmm. we've seen them navigate to platforms where they can continue to build their business. Being fun right. is great, um, being curious is great, but over the long term, creators have this herd mentality. They go to where the money is or where the yep. audience is. What right. are they seeing in threads right now? Like, what are, what are those kind of draw points? What are the shiny objects that you're either seeing right now or this kind of long term promise of what Meta can do gets them excited about the threads platform? Well, the long term, you know, it, it, as you said, it's where everybody is kind of right now, right? Like, and I don't think anybody was excited about Twitter. And also, you have to remember that, like, Threads is being built on the back of both, both Facebook and Instagram. We used to always say when I was on Instagram, like, we used to get to sort of, like, you know, learn from the mistakes of Facebook. Now Threads gets to learn from the mistakes of both Facebook and Instagram, which is, like, a pretty solid place to be, not to mention the incredible, you know, ad sales infrastructure that Meta brings along to the table. So I think that in just very early conversations, conversations, people are confident that there's some sort of monetization that's probably being thought of. And I can't imagine that's not true on, on the sort of the meta side. So right now, you know, at the very least, it's about distribution. And because you can port over your followers and, uh, you know, uh, you, who you're following, sorry, um, from uh, Instagram directly, therefore, people are going to be following you, you know, faster than they would on a brand new platform. Like creators, to your point, they're going where the people are and they're there. So they're very curious. I mean, you've seen Mr. Beast is, I think, giving away a Tesla for everybody that follows him. Maybe we'd all have hundreds of millions of followers if we gave, gave away Teslas. I don't know. Um, but I think they're all there and they're excited right now. And talking about what's exciting right now, you have Musk uh, maybe uh, keying into some of this excitement just in the last 10 minutes. He responded to a tweet on Twitter asking him whether he would actually bring in photos and captions to Twitter. And he said, it's definitely a feature we should consider. So as we see kind of the continuation of these platforms, maybe lifting some features from each side, how are yep. creators thinking about differentiation when it comes to the folks who are both on Twitter and are on threads? Are there things that are core to the platform that have them thinking about those two things differently? Or is there some efficient cross-posting going on that's helpful on both sides? Well, I think, first of all, also just, you know, Elon taking advantage of like launching monetization in the last like couple days. I think that was actually really smart of him. Do I think that that's like a great idea considering there's no trust and safety on on Twitter right now? I mean, I feel like monetization plus no trust and safety is like kind of a disaster waiting to happen, you can imagine. In terms of, you know, listen, I think that right now, and of course, Jelly Smack My Work helps creators this, you know, having to post on different platforms and different types of content is, you know, is a really big sort of, you know, burden to creators. And so anything that anybody can do to offset that is always welcome. In terms of cross-posting to both platforms, too soon to tell, right? I think what we are seeing, though, it's a different kind of, you know, creator 
user on, um, you know, threads versus Twitter, right? Like coming people on Instagram weren't necessarily on Twitter or power Twitter users. So I think it's a little bit too early to tell in terms of like how that content's going to sort of overlap or not. But I definitely feel like creators are on threads. If anything, because it comes from Instagram, it's they, I think by the very nature of that, it seems to be a bit more creator friendly mm. of a platform, at least per from per perception point of view right now. When are you thinking that the advertising gets turned on, Lauren? Well, so much sooner than later. I do think that they, if <laughs> I would hope that they are thinking about their own trust and safety and how to moderate this. Again, learning from the mistakes of the past, I know that they're going to move quicker than they ever have before. I mean, I was at Facebook before monetization was there at all, and that was just really painful waiting for that to come out. They have so much more infrastructure. So I think within the first year, you're, if not, you know, even sooner, you're going to see some sort of monetization. But I think they need to like first they have to launch ads first. Right. So that's going to happen pretty soon, I imagine. And by the way, let's talk about brands. Brands are leaving flocking to threads because they've left Twitter because of the lack of trust and safety. They can't risk their brands being next to really sort of undesirable content. So um, you've got brands like Netflix, Lyft, Wendy, Spotify, all these brands that are just flocking to threads to build up their platform. And with the brands comes the money. Monetization soon follows. With your analysis of all the places your content creators could be, I mean, we have heard a relative amount from Twitter recently under the new leadership of Linda Yaccarino about brand safety, trying to ensure that those advertisers get back on board and get comfortable. Are you really still seeing reasons to be as concerned as previous at the moment? And, and do you think that what we're talking about is people leaving in droves or is the reality actually that? I, leaving, right? Whether I don't know if they're deactivating, whether or not they're posting or spending as much time there. Listen, she's there to solve this problem. But the problem is, is like, is she really CEO, right? Like Elon's not sort of backing down on anything. And so time will tell, right? Like she's a pro, she has the relationships with brands. And so I, you know, I believe her that that is like her number one goal. I don't believe necessarily it's going to happen.